Hey y'all, Jared Sandler with you. Time now for today's Rangers game memory. Uh, this particular game was back in 2016 in Anaheim against the Angels. But uh, to tell the story involving Kyle Loesch, I got to go back uh, really about uh, two, three weeks prior to that. Uh, Kyle Loesch, who had a, you know an accomplished major league career prior to joining the Rangers organization early on in the 2016 season and, and pitching uh, with AAA at the time, AAA Round Rock. Uh, you know, he was, uh, I guess, seen by some because of the name recognition as a candidate to uh, maybe fill a, an open rotation spot because of injuries and, and what have you. So about three weeks prior to this particular game, I was asked on Twitter, uh, what, uh, you know, what can you tell us about Kyle Loach? Well, you know, I, I try not to you know, give answers that I don't know. And so I had not spoken, I hadn't seen Kalos pitch. Uh, he wasn't with the Rangers in spring training. And I just said, hey, listen, the guy's got a, you know, six and a half something ERA or whatever it was in AAA. Didn't tag Kyle Loesch, nothing. Driving home after the game and I get a notification. Kyle Loesch responded to the tweet with the, uh, you know, one of those emoji or whatever things. So I was like, all right, this is interesting. Uh, I just, you know, I responded and I said, hey, Kyle, uh, you know, hope you can appreciate that I'm just answering the question. Uh, if you come up to Arlington, I'll be the first person to shake your hand. You know, it was an interesting dynamic because I, I had never met Kyle. Uh, I'm, you know, I have no problem being honest, uh, you know, when it comes to a player's performance, if it's, you know, maybe not positive. But a few things. One, typically I've, I've interacted with that player before. They understand uh, where I'm coming from and, and I get them. Uh, and two, I'm able to see them the next day if, if I do say something and maybe I'll tell them, hey man, I said this about you on air. I just want to let you know. There's my thoughts, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I have no problem doing that. That's a part of the business. Um, you know, I, my rule of thumb is I'll never say or tweet anything that I wouldn't say to that person's face. So, you know, if I follow that, I really, uh, you know, I, I, I avoid any sort of uh, misrepresentation of anything. Well, I simply answered this question about Kyle and uh, he had a reputation of maybe not being the best guy in the world. Uh, I didn't know that at the time. And so anyway, let's fast forward. So I had that, that weird back and forth where he was clearly searching his name. Uh, well, sure enough, like a week later, he gets called up. And it happened the night before. So I'm on air uh, doing the post game show. The Rangers announced Kyle Loesch is, you know, this contract's been purchased. He's going to start the next day. So immediately in my head, I was like, well, shoot, I had this kind of like weird negative interaction with him. And I said, if he gets called up, I'd be the first person to shake his hand. Well, I'm not in the clubhouse after the games because I've got the post game show and he doesn't know that. Uh, and I'm, I'm, by the way, totally overthinking a lot of this. But in my head, I'm like, oh, well, he probably thinks I'm, I'm dodging him. Well, I'm not going to speak to him before his start the next day because you typically don't speak to starting pitchers, especially if you don't know them. That's just sort of a, a clubhouse etiquette type thing. Uh, you know, you just you let starting pitchers day of their start, you let them be. Well, I'm not going to be there after the game because, again, I'll have the postgame show. So if he pitches poorly, then he's going to think, well, oh, you know, Jared's going to love coming up and, and saying hi to me now. If he pitches great, he's going to think I'm dodging him because, again, he doesn't know what I do. He has no clue. So the next day, standing in the clubhouse, and I can see him eyeballing me from across the, uh, you know, the, the the locker room portion of the clubhouse. And, you know, he's he had just shown up, so he's shaking hands and introducing himself to people. And eventually, we cross paths. And it was one of those things where I'm like, screw it. I'm going to say something. Uh, and I go up to Kyle. I'm like, hey, Kyle, Jared Sandler. I say it with a smile. I'm trying to, like, diffuse the situation and who knows, maybe he was just having fun. I mean, Twitter is one of those things where you, you don't totally know what someone's intentions or emotions are. And he just kind of looked at me and he's like, I know who you are. And I'm like, all right, uh, hey man, listen, just want to wish you luck, uh, you know, uh, whatever. I, you know, I, I probably said like, good luck. And he's like, whatever, bro. And he walked away. I was like, all right. Well, I don't, you know, I, I one of the things that, I feel like I do a great job of is developing relationships with these players. And if there is a problem, uh, diffusing it. Uh, and there are very, very few problems. There's one where Ronald Guzman two years ago misinterpreted a tweet and we had a conversation. We're great. 
these interactions with Kyle Loesch are, you know, they're types of interactions that one used to. So I was like, oh man, I'm asking people, I was trying to get like some confirmation bias. Yeah, you know, he's not the best guy in the world, whatever. Well, he goes out, he pitches that night actually against the Twins, didn't pitch well, didn't pitch again for another 10 days. I think the All-Star break played a role in that. So that takes us to the, the July 19th game. Uh, and in the, I think it was the fourth or fifth inning, Kyle Loesch is still pitching and there's a base open. And uh, I guess it was the fifth inning. Uh, and he pitched to Mike Trout when he shouldn't have. And uh, I guess it was the fourth inning. Uh, there was a, an open base. Whatever the case was, uh, he threw a pitch on three and one to Mike Trout that he should not have thrown. Uh, Mike Trout did major damage with, uh, with it. The Rangers ended up losing. You know, I don't want to say simply because of that, but uh, I'll never forget after the game, I asked Jeff Bannister about that situation. And usually, as most managers do, Banny's going to get his players' backs, right? You know, if they did something wrong, he's going to deflect, and he's not going to throw them under the bus. And I simply asked him, was you know that a situation where maybe you would have preferred Kyle not pitch to Mike Trout? And Banny's response was so telling. It was like, yeah, I mean, I don't remember verbatim, but it was basically, yeah, that is uh, absolutely not what we wanted to do in that situation. And I was, like, taken aback because, uh, you know, Banny was clearly – ticked off at Kyle Loesch and then the next day Kyle Loesch DFA'd so that's my Kyle Loesch story for you here for today's Rangers game memory